U.S. disapproves of Ukrainian strikes inside Russia. State Department. The United States of America does not encourage or support Ukrainian strikes beyond its borders, said U.S. State Department spokesperson Matthew Miller. Journalist asked the State Department representative to comment on recent media reports that the United States opposes Ukraine attacking oil refineries within Russian territory and has asked Ukraine to cease such actions. I'm not going to go into specifics about conversations, but from the beginning of this war, our policy has always been that we do not encourage or support Ukraine striking outside its own territory, Miller said. Miller did not elaborate on what these specific conversations were, but indicated that the US position is well known to the Ukrainian government, so it's not something of which they would be unaware. On March the 22nd, the Financial Times reported that the US urged Ukraine to refrain from strikes on Russian oil refineries due to concerns over possible rising oil prices and a potential Russian response. Ukraine's Deputy Prime Minister Ola Stefanishina stated that Ukraine operates in accordance with NATO's best standards, echoing what she had heard from alliance partners at the outset of the full-scale war. Russian media have reported that Ukraine has attacked oil refining facilities within Russia and the occupied territories 14 times in the last three weeks. In recent weeks, Ukraine has found a way to overcome a lack of aid and a dearth of ammunition using long-range drones to strike oil industry assets deep inside Russia. The attacks on Russian oil refineries, which number at least a dozen so far, including some very long-range strikes, have damaged Russia's ability to process and refine its huge output of crude oil, dealing a small but meaningful blow to a Russian energy sector that has so far weathered the war and Western sanctions in surprisingly good shape. Moscow gets about 40% of its federal budget from the export of crude oil and refined products, making the sector a key part of the Kremlin's ability to increase defense spending, rebuild its shattered armies and purchase huge amounts of foreign-made weaponry to use against Ukraine. Ukraine managed to paralyze traffic on Crimean Bridge, Russian media. 2.500 loaded tanks with oil products have accumulated on the North Caucasus Railway of the Russian Federation due to restrictions on the passage of dangerous goods through the Crimean Bridge and the need to wait for the approach of ferries and tankers, reports Russian Commerçant media outlet. This problem was discussed at a meeting of the Working Group of the Ministry of Industry and Trade of the Russian Federation on March the 15th. It follows from its proceedings. The publication refers to this document. Some stand for six months. Market participants propose to use more tankers for transportation to the Crimea and in the meantime to block the release of additional tanks to the network in this direction, the newspaper writes. According to her, the downtime in the south emphasizes the general shortage of oil and gasoline tanks in Russia, assessing it in different ways from hundreds to 45,000 units. Oil companies propose to temporarily lift the ban on extending the service life of tanks, but rail car builders and Russian railways oppose this. Vasil Maliuk, the head of the security service of Ukraine, said that Russia no longer uses the Crimean bridge to supply weapons to the front after Ukrainian strikes damaged the crossing. The bridge, also called the Kirsch Bridge, connects the Russian mainland with the Russian-occupied Crimean Peninsula, making it a crucial supply route for the Russian military in Ukraine. Construction on the 19-kilometer-long bridge began after the illegal 2014 annexation and occupation of Crimea and was completed in 2018. The bridge was heavily damaged in Ukrainian strikes in October 2022 and July 2023. The plan to strike the bridge was first conceived in March 2022, Maliuk said. Before the bridge came under attack, 42 to 46 trains carrying weapons and ammunition passed there per day, Maliuk said. Today there are four or five in a day, of which four Four are for passenger traffic and one is for consumer goods, Maliuk said. Russian proxy authorities in occupied Crimea regularly shut down traffic on the Crimean bridge amid reports of explosions and drone strikes. When the structure is fully restored, Russia will likely use the bridge once again for weapons supplies, Maliuk said, but implied that Ukraine plans to then carry out another attack. Everything has its time, Maliuk said. A portion of a bridge in the U.S. state of Maryland has collapsed after a large boat struck it, causing multiple vehicles to fall into the water below, Baltimore Mayor Brandon Scott says he is aware of the incident at the Francis Scott Key Bridge in the city, and is in contact with local authorities, Scott says, I'm aware of and en route to the incident at the Key Bridge. Emergency personnel are on scene, 
and efforts are underway. Baltimore City Police have just confirmed with us that it is possible that there are workers in the water after the key bridge collapse.